In today's lesson, what we're looking at is similarity and measurement. So we're going to take a couple of things that you know already and put them together in a different situation. Let's go over some vocabulary first. We have a ratio, which is just comparing two numbers and using division, which is basically just a fraction. We have a proportion, which is an equation, an equivalent showing that two ratios are equal, just equivalent fractions. And similar figures, which you know, are two figures that are the same shape, not necessarily the same size, and whose corresponding sides are um, proportional and whose corresponding angles are equal in measurement. And we have some steps that we're going to follow while we work out three different problems. So let's look at our first example. Just in case you can't read it, it says, given that figure ABCD is similar to figure JKLM, we need to find the length of side KJ. So the first thing we need to do, as our first step says, is set up an empty or blank proportion. So here we have two fraction bars with an equal sign in the middle. Now we're going to set up our proportion by filling in the corresponding sides. We have side BA, and that corresponds with the side we have to find the length for, which is side KJ. And we're going to make that equal to this longer side, which we'll call AD. And that corresponds with JM. So now what we're going to do is rewrite another empty proportion. But this time what we're going to do is fill in the lengths of the sides that we know. So side BA is 9 inches long. And we don't know what KJ is, so we'll call that X. Side AD is 12 inches long, and side JM is 32 inches long. Now our next step is that we are going to cross multiply. That means we are going to multiply 9 and 32, and then X and 12. And what that gives us then is, and I'll move over here, 288 equaling 12x. Now remember, we need to find out what x is. So to do that, we have to divide by the coefficient. So we'll divide both sides by 12. So now we have a coefficient of 1, which means that x equals 24 inches. So this side, side KJ, is 24 inches long. Now let's take a look at our second example. So it's a different kind of problem, but we're going to follow the same steps. Here what we're looking at is the height of, the, of a flagpole and the height of a person, and they are similar, and so are the lengths of their shadows. What we need to do for this problem is find out how long this person's shadow is. We're going to follow the same exact steps. First, we'll set up our blank proportion. Now this is going to be a little different because instead of sides with the given letters, we actually have the height of the person. So we'll just put person's height. And the denominator of this fraction will be the flag's height. And then what we're going to do is next to the person's height, the next numerator will be the person's shadow. And then the denominator that will match with the flag's height will be the flag's shadow. Now, in 
following our steps. We are up to step three where we rewrite our proportion, but this time we'll plug in our values. This person is six feet tall and the flag is 15 feet tall. We don't know the length of the person's shadow, so we'll call that X. But we do know that the flag's shadow is five feet long. If we follow our steps, we cross multiply next. So that means we have six times five equals 15 times X. Six times five is 30. And that equals 15x. To get x by itself, we need to divide by the coefficient. So we'll divide both sides by 15. And when we do that, we find that the person's shadow is 2 feet long. Now before we conclude, we will do one more example. same skill. What we're doing here is we're comparing two triangles. The only difference is one is inside the other. So we are told that triangle ABC is similar to triangle QRC. And what we need to do is find the length of BR. We want to know where we'll compare side QR, and that corresponds with AB in the larger triangle. And the base of QR is RC, and the base of the larger triangle is BC. Now here's where it gets a little different. We actually have an extra step here because side BC is broken into two different pieces. So right now we're just going to bring the QR over AB down. We don't have to do anything with that yet. Same thing for RC. Now, B, C, as I said, it's two different pieces, so we need to look at it as an addition problem. First, we have B, R, and we're adding to that R, C. Now we can fill in our numbers. Side Q, R is 6 meters long. And AB is 10. RC is 9 meters. Now, BR is X. And we're adding to that the 9 meters for RC. But our steps don't change. Now we cross multiply. So we have 6 times. Now, since this is two different terms, I'm going to put that in parentheses, x plus rc, and that equals 10 times 9. So here what we do now is we get to practice using the distributive property. 6 times x is 6x, 6 plus rc is 9. So 6 times 9 is 54. And that equals 90. Now our goal is the same. We want the x by itself. But right now, instead of just having a coefficient, there's also a constant. So the way to get rid of this positive 54 is to put a negative 54 on both sides.
So now this positive 54 and this negative 54 together make a zero. And that leaves us with 6x and then 90 and the negative 54 make positive 36. We divide by the coefficient. And we find that x has a length of 6 meters.